I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see today we have a challenge for the Muslims and we are going to open Skype immediately so Muslims can join us and tell us who is Allah. You know uh, Muslims they have, uh, you know they speak too much, they speak uh, about their God, you know, they have a God, his name is Allah. And uh, you know this God, uh, he do good as long as you don't ask questions about him. I mean. Uh, we are people who dress white when we go to pray and we have to pray to Allah in Arabic because Allah obviously is an Arab God and even though you are a Pakistani guy still you have to pray to Allah in Arabic which doesn't make sense even according to the Quran because the Quran says we never send a messenger or a message except by the tongue of their own people yet the Quran contradicts itself and says the opposite so you know but the question is there's millions of religions around the world. We don't know how many, you know, nobody can count them really. And many of them, they believe in a God. Some of them, they believe in many gods. Some of them believe in one God. Uh, but all of them, mostly they share one thing, that they believe that their God is the one who created everything. So the second you ask a Muslim, who is your God, who says to you, he's the creator. And there we go in the Quran, we will find that there is many creators, not only Allah, which is a proof that the one who wrote the Quran, he was just trying to make a rap song he did not really care for the meaning and by doing such a thing he damaged uh, what he called or he claimed to be a message from God because if we ask a Muslim if there is anyone beside Allah is a creator they will say no then we go to the Quran we will find there is two verses saying clearly there are other verses actually uh, speaking of uh, uh, you know, like creators like Jesus uh, but here <clears throat> If you go in chapter 23, verse number 14, or in chapter 37, verse 125, it says clearly that Allah is the best of the creators, and even Allah, he compared himself to the pagan god Baal. So he, Allah, is the best of the creators. So Allah is crying out, saying to you, why you go to Baal when Allah is better a creator than Baal? So Baal is a creator, and Allah is a creator, but Allah is the best. When you say you are the best, that means Baal is good too, you know? Because I'm the best doesn't mean that bad is bad. That's why I'm saying I'm the best. Because if you are the best between the bad, that make you are bad, you know? So Muhammad was trying to make Arabic music. And, you know, the, the Muslims, they speak about the Quran highly, about the Arabic language. But if you speak Arabic language, you will see how stupid the, the, this, uh, this uh, rap. Because it doesn't make any sense. And there's no connection between verses before it and verses after it. And actually, there's a video of uh, uh, a guy, his name... Uh, uh, what the, what the name of the guy, you know, he, they posted pictures of him, posting pictures of him naked with women, Muslim women. I forgot his name. People will write his name in the chat. Um, he, you know, he says to you, he will say to you in the video, and the Muslim, highly, they appreciate him, and they do articles, and he do lecturers, and you know. But, you know, at the same time, he is practicing with Muhammad Do, You know, he's, he's sleeping with everybody. Uh, 
So he said, in the Quran you will notice there is no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. There is no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. He said, you will not find the story in one page in the Quran, you will find the story scattered all over. So if you want to find the story of Moses, you don't find the stories of Moses in one page. So uh, as you see here in Arabic, you notice, even if you do not know Arabic, you will notice that the first letter, all of them, they look the same. This last letter, all of them look the same. Why? Because Muhammad is trying to make uh, like uh, something can be recited like a song, but the meaning, there's no meaning. And, uh, uh, and the meaning actually not only does not exist, the meaning is stupid. The meaning is really horrible. As an example, uh, you will read this chapter here, and then, you know, he's talking about Moses and Aaron, and then, you know, you go in the top, like what this chapter is about? What is exactly this chapter is about? What the heck, this is like, there is nothing. It's just, it's, you know, like, here he's talking about what you will drink in the heaven. Here he's talking about that there is, there is boys will go around you. And they will serve you, uh, you know, cups of wines and mixed with ginger. Uh, there you will not get drunk. You drink as much as you want. And there, there was uh, women who they are just made for sex, and they are jailed in their room, in, in, your, in the room for you. They can't even leave the room forever. And they are so white like pearls. And Muhammad described them that you can see it through their bones. And then you know, like, okay, we are talking now supposedly about heaven. You will, I will give you a banana. And then suddenly we go to Moses, and suddenly Abraham, and suddenly Noah, and suddenly, I mean, the story is all over the place. There's no story in the story. What, okay, we were talking about what we would drink in heaven, and now we are talking about Noah. Didn't we talk about Noah first? Introduce to us who is Noah? So the Quran, which the Muslim, they claim that this is the only evidence they have for God existence. The Quran is a very funny book, not to mention that it's full of uh, historic mistakes, scientific mistakes. And by the way, I'm not the one who's going to judge the Quran because of scientific mistakes, no. Uh, religion is not based on science, science. Like as an example, Christian believe, and I am a Christian, that Jesus is born of a Virgin Mary. Is that scientific? No. We believe in it. Muslims believe in the same thing. But the Muslims, you, if you go and search on YouTube, you will find a million videos made by Muslims speaking about the scientific discoveries of the Quran. So because the Muslim, they made it scientific and Muhammad, he involved his nose with science, claiming that he knows science and this is the one who's talking is Allah, then Muhammad is in trouble again. If you are a Muslim and you'd like to join us, just text me, please, and I will be happy to take you. If you are not a Muslim, please don't text me in Skype. I will block you. As simple as that. So, uh, too much speeches about such a God, which we cannot find him to be God in any way, in any mean. Uh, big words, uh, meanless words. Anyone can say, my God, they created anything. You know? Anyone can claim, talk is cheap. You know? Anyone can say, I can say now, I am God. Okay, I'm the one who created you. Who is Allah then? Is it somebody just he's saying, uh, he is the creator? And what is the proof that even Allah, he said what we see in front of us? It is any proof? 
What is the proof that Muhammad is not just copying the name of the pagan god before him? And all of us renew, even the Quran confirm that the Arab before Islam, they worship a god. His name is Allah. Al is a word meaning God. La is the name of the god. It's a moon god. It's an ancient god, exists long before Islam and before Muhammad. So what is the proof that even this person, Allah, is the one who's talking, not Muhammad fabricating Quran? The proof is very simple. If Allah is God, he will not say stupid things. As simple as that. God and stupid doesn't make sense, does it? Unless you like to work, you know, what, you want. Uh, for you, maybe the scale of uh, uh, a person to prove himself to you is a stupidity. So if he's very stupid, that means he is very God, or very godly. So... My Skype is open. If you are a Muslim and you think you can tell us who is Allah, feel free. We will go to Muslim video. And this is Sheikh uh, uh, Mufti Mink. He is a very well-known person. He is going to tell us why Muslims believe in Save our... Save 10% with... Sorry. With my code. This is an idiot here. Take, take him down. Uh, the, you know, Mufti Mink is going to tell us why uh, Muslims believe in Allah as God. Why? Listen carefully and try not to laugh. So now, you know, like the Muslim, they try to sing for you. And this is one of the funny things, by the way. You will see the same Quran. If you bring somebody here have a nice voice, the Quran sounds good, but mean nothing in the same time. And this is why the Muslim, they hire a very, very nice voices in certain area where the Christian live. So they can convince them with the Quran by singing the Quran, but the Quran is really stupid. If you go here in this uh, video, you will see Mufti Ming saying, realize that, okay, someone has made me and I believe that there is a supreme deity who made me. The question arises, who made me? So is it another person who looks just like me? The answer is no. Why? Why no? Why no? This is actually, actually this is a contradiction for Islam. Even Muhammad, he was trying to copy the Old Testament. He said that Allah created Adam in his image. And this is something we find in the Old Testament right away in the beginning. The Muslims, they try to fix it. They say, oh, now God is saying he created uh, Adam in his image, which means the image he have. Okay, do you have a picture of him? This is a verse from the Old Testament. God created Adam in his image. Actually, if you ask the Muslim, where do you get the word Adam anyway? What Adam mean? They don't know. Oh, we have a Muslim. Let us see. Hello? He's on uh, Skype. Uh, you know, uh, so I told him uh, to ring you now. He said he texted you. Do you see any me messages about? Uh, let me uh, see. Uh, okay, let me see. Ali let Hussein. me let me hang up on you. His his name was what? Ali. Al Ali Hussein. Yeah, Ali Hussein. Yeah. Okay, I will shake uh, and I will call him right away. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Ali. Um, no, I don't see any text. Um, Ali Hussein. Maybe you can give him my, you know, uh, my contact to be sure, or that, you know, you can add him to join the uh, conversation. I don't know, and then you can hang up yourself because I don't see any text from Ali Hussein. Did he call me before? I have somebody, he have a very funny name, like uh, uh, Jin F, 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 whatever, you know. Well, I don't know, see what the problem, because I don't see him. I don't see anyone. His name is Ali Hussein in my side. Let me know if he called before. Maybe he was like an annoying person and... Uh, Acting, like, I don't know, because I cannot find him. Uh, let us see this guy. He says he's a Muslim and he have a questions. <clears throat> Hello. 
Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes, I'm a full Muslim. All right, so what what does that mean, you are a Muslim? Um, basically, I wanted to know a bit about the Trinity. Okay, but you know, we have a topic about who is Allah. Yeah, <laughs> but I just want to know about the Trinity first. No problem. What about you, you know, because we have topic, what about you tell me who is Allah, and I will do then after you answer me, I will tell you about the Trinity. Go ahead. Um, Allah is just um, a God in Islam, which is one God. I did not ask you how many he is, and what do you mean one God? One, one what? One of what? Just one God. What what the word one mean? I mean, it's just one God. I don't know how much to simplify it. No, but you, when you say to me one, you know, one, there's two, there's three, there's four. So you are saying to me one God, but there is other yeah, gods. Just, just one God, no father, no son. Just okay, he don't God. father, he have no sons. Well, I don't know, the, the Arab before Islam, they used to worship Allah too, and they have, Allah have three daughters, correct? Three gods. Three daughters. No, that's not true. Well, the Quran in front of us, and we can show you from the Quran. Are you sure you are a Muslim? Are you sure you are a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a Muslim, but I definitely know that he's got no parties okay. connected to him. No so you no are a Muslim, but you never heard that Allah he used to have daughters? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, let us see here. Uh, chapter six, verse number one hundred. It says. Uh, chapter uh, one second. I'll just check you out. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, can I take the chapter name again, please? Chapter 6, verse number 100. Uh, <clears throat> and is it this one where it says, and yet some people will come to associate with the jinn with Allah and his divinity? But this does it say does it say that those people they believe that Allah have daughters and sons? He who created them and in ignorance they impute him they impute to him sons and daughters. Okay, yeah, that, that so say that he's got daughters. Okay, so Allah before before Muhammad he have sons and daughters, correct? Yeah. All right. So uh, the the question is how Allah got daughters according to the Arab before Muhammad. No, no, but it, there's no way that Allah's got daughters. Why not? He hasn't, he's got no partners connected to him, no sons, no daughters, nothing. All right. Well, in the Quran, we have a verse that says that if Allah, he liked to have a son, he... No, this is what I spoke to Nico about. It says if, it doesn't say he has though. It says if. No problem. He's got, no problem. You see, I'm not, is, I'm not discussing the if, my friend. I'm not, I'm not discussing the if, I'm discussing the something else. It says here, had we have this, uh, had we uh, desired to take uh, to us a diversion, we would have taken it, taken it from us. So you said to me, the, the first thing I ask you about your God, you said to me, He is one God. But then no, but Allah, like, this like this is what we I was talking to Nico about because it says if so, meaning God is open to possibilities. He could have anything He wants. No problem. That's even wonderful. See, Allah opened the possibility to get married. That's wonderful. But here, God, I mean, God, <clears throat> I mean, if we believe as Muslims, God created the world. So, yeah, he can do whatever he likes. There's no, no limitation. problem. No problem. But now, as you, as, as you said, Allah, he can do whatever he wants because he's God. But uh, you Muslim, you say uh, Allah, it's not fit for Allah to have a son. No, no, but he hasn't got a son, though. Okay. But you see, you just told me uh, it's not a problem for Allah. If you want, he can. But the problem here we have in front of us, it says, that if Allah want to take a wife, he will take the wife. Does it say wife though, does it? Does it say wife? Yes, it says wife actually, because it says lahwan. Lahwan is a word for women in Arabic. And you can go and check that. And you I don't think it is. I don't think it's a word for Well, this is your Muslim translation. This is a Hilali, Muhammad Hilali, and Muhammad Khan translation in front of you. It says, had we intended to take a pastime between two brackets, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. Us who? I'm just checking this out. Mm. It, no, no, mate, you got it wrong. Lahwa means amusement. It also another word for fun. It, it means nothing. You see what? Okay, what amusement mean? I will go with you. But uh, obviously, if you compare your amusement to for, um, uh, to a female, that doesn't mean God has the same. I don't care. You tell me what 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 he went. What he you see? I'm asking you for the meaning. 
You said no, 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 no. No, no, look, I'm saying so to you, I'm for, for no, those, My no, friend, give me the you. meaning. Okay, Allah, is is, is Allah no, saying no, things is meanless? No, is your God, no, Allah, saying I'm things trans- is, is meanless? Is it, mean, is it meanless or it's have a meaning? No, no, let me tell you, like, amusement could be anything. It doesn't have to be a female. My friend, no problem. According to you, what is the amusement Allah will take? I don't know. I, honestly, I well, don't know. Well, this is the answer Muslim that. always they say to me. When, <laughs> when, when the question is very embarrassing, they say, I do not know. So no, no, you all worry about the Trinity, but you did not worry about Allah taking amusement. You do not know what it is. No, no, but I didn't. I, I obviously, I, I didn't. I wanted to know about the Trinity. I didn't no problem, that. my friend. No problem. Like, but you didn't you know your God first? If you do not know your God first, how you go after somebody else? I know God? my God, but you asking me. No, you do not know. Here we go. I ask you, what is the amusement <laughs> is? You do not know. No, you no, said, no, no. Did you just no, say no, to me, my friend? Me, did you just say to me? Did you just say to me? I do not know, or I'm making things up. No, no, let me just explain because okay. I've just come up for work. I'm a bit tired as well. That, that verse starts with if. So nobody knows what it could actually mean, the amusement, because it says if. He, he hasn't clarified on it much. Doesn't matter. And you just said Allah is open for, 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 for doing it. You said that yourself too. So <laughs> if he wants, he will take, but he will take from us. He will take that partner. It's a partner, whatever it is, right? No, but mate, look, it's, God is open to possibilities. That's my friend, it. my friend, when Allah, he take the amusement from us, whatever the amusement is, wife, a child, whatever. Look, if God he said, he said, he said, he said, we will take in it from us. Us who? I thought Allah God is... God wants to take a female from us or a shish kebab from us, that's up to him. So Allah is shish kebab? No, no, I, I'm saying if he wants to take a female or a shish kebab or a toy or a phone, that's up to him. There's yeah, no but you know, he did not just say, I will take a shish kebab as a wife, and uh, nice of you to make fun of your God to kill a shish kebab. No, no, I'm, but, no, I'm not making fun. I'm just well, saying. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm making a point too. You know, like, but like, you see, like, you see, you missed the point. You missed the point. The shish kebab here is us because he said we will take it from us. <laughs> you know what? I couldn't stop laughing. You know, when you said to Mommy Tijab, um, shish kebab falafel nation, I will, I've been laughing for a week when I heard that. Okay, so I'm asking that, you now. That was a funny joke. I, got I know, I know. Every, everything, I, was... everything I say is funny, my friend. You cannot you're beat a, that. You're an entertaining guy. That bit that I, I know, I'm entertaining. Uh, this, is, this is why I told my followers the sun set in murky water. You need to take a note about that too. So now I'm asking you now. Take it from us. Take it from us. Allah will take that amusement from us. Us who? If Allah is one. Us, you say us. If I say who, who is coming, you say to me us. That's mean you... Maybe your wife, maybe your son, maybe your cousin, maybe your brother. Okay, so us is, is people like me, my kind, correct? I, I don't know. Like, I mean... So uh, this is the if, answer. This is the answer. You see, this is what we say. That Muslims if, do not know who they are worshipping. And now you are saying to me, I do not know. In the no, beginning, no, in the if, beginning, you so said I to me, Allah is one. God said if. So he hasn't... I don't care. I don't care. You see, the if, the if is only for taking the wife. But us are not an F. Us Can are exist. The, um, chapter, us, um, us are okay. already exist. Us is an exist. And the F actually here is about somebody is exist. So even your Muslim, even the interpretation, we can go up in the interpretation. The scholar says that he's talking about taking a wife or a son. What I want to talk to you about more than anything else about Islam is the Jal. Is what? Is the Jal. Who is the Jal? No, I want to talk to you about the Jal more than any of these verses. No problem. Let us finish this one because now we prove that Allah is not even one. You Muslim, you mislead yourself, you lie to yourself, and you repeat no, but a where lie. Where does it say that He is not one? Okay, what? Where does it say that He's not? He one? just did in front of you. No, mate. No, no. He is one. This is the most monotheistic. Okay, how He is one, but He will take a partner from us if no, He is the only is one. one. If no, I say to you, if I say to you, us, you see, Muslim, if we ask him about Allah saying we, they will say Allah is using the word we as okay, a maj- as a majestic, is, uh, like a king. He say we, okay, no problem. So Allah, he like to call himself we. He is not as satisfied with being being one. That's why Allah okay, he used the word we. If, but now Allah will take a partner from us. He is not talking about we as a majestic. He is talking about taking another person as a partner. But what if, um, just say, what if your God said the same thing in Bible? You couldn't stop my, him. Okay, no problem. No my, my God, he can say us because, no we, because we believe in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So now your God, is he Trinity? No, he's not Trinity. Okay, so how he is using us? 
Man, he's saying, but the word starts with if, so he doesn't. I don't care, my friend. I, this is the, the if. The if is not my case now. The, if, the the case is Allah. If He wanna take, He will take from us. So the us already exists. But it doesn't say female. That I don't see the word female. It's not up to you. You know, you can go and read the interpretation. I can show you. You want to show you? I can show no, you the I word lahu. I can you show you from Islamic scholars that it says that the word lahu mean Arabic. No, in Arabic, no, but he has to say My friend, I don't care what you say. You do not know. Listen. You see, I'm not going to make fun of you like maybe hijab make fun of people who do not know Arabic. I'm saying to you, I can show you your scholars saying that no, no, this is what it's meant. In the Quran, it has to say if we want you to take your women. That's what I need to see. If it doesn't say no that, no problem. Would mean? Do, you, do you speak Arabic to understand what the word lahu mean? Uh, to be honest, no, but I've already said Okay. Arabic. Do you see this is a Muslim translation? This is Muhammad, Hila, uh, Muhammad Khan and uh, Hilali Khan. Uh, and both of them they are Muslims and both of them are Muhammad and both of them they are saying i.e. a wife or a son etc so why are they are saying i.e. a wife if she isn't a wife uh, can I take the chapter number and uh, name chapter 21 verse number 17 let me just uh, double check this because there's too many verses that I've been hearing over the past week hmm. So, um, I mean, um, yeah, like I said, it doesn't. To me, it doesn't say female. I've checked the meaning. To, to me, to me, you, you, who are you? When you say to me, who are you? No, I didn't mean it that way. But I know it doesn't. Say no, no, no. When you say to me, woman. my friend, to me, a person who don't even know how to read his book, and you say to me as if you are a philosopher. You are no, Einstein, no, you never, are Al Bukhari. Okay, philosopher. so don't tell me to me. Never, I can show you right woman. now. I can show you it right now. You choose a scholar. I will show you what the scholar no, says. The scholars. Show me the Quran why I want to forget the scholars? Why why no, you no, want... I need to see so, the Quran where it says woman It's, you it's in the front of you. Woman. No, no, no. I need to see in the Quran or the, if, where it says that we will take your woman. It's if the word Lahu, I just told you the word Lahu. Here we go. The word Lahu in Arabic mean women. <laughs> I just said to you, let me show you the meaning. Huh? You refuse. <coughs> okay, let me check. May this different for woman is Al Nisa. My friend, Lahu is mean fun. In Arabic, How literally, lahu. lahu. It's in the front of you. I mean, what English? Do you, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna look for the word in English? So listen, lahu is a mean fun. This is what we we practice when we speak Arabic. But in the same time, because the Arab they insult women, they call them fun. So if you wanna take a fun, which means a woman, a lousy woman, no, a belly no, dancer, no. a hooker. What you're saying that so is the this is this is showing us this is showing us that your God is not even a good God because no, he did no, not no, even no, mention no, the word no, women. He did not mention the word women. He mentioned no, lahu. Fun, friend, which means she have to be, said, she have to be in Arabic. We call her laub. Laub mean, you know, she is playful. She is good for sex. She is. No, uh, this is not true, mate. Trust okay, me. well here we go. This why you? Why your Muslim? Why your Muslim scholars and your Muslim translators agree that this is a wife? You tell me. It doesn't say wife there though. It's in the front of you. you. I have checked the meaning. It it's in the front. Okay, movement. you say you you just said you check the meaning. <laughs> which book? <laughs> It says abusement. My friend, you just say it. You check the meaning. In which book? Of which book? Yeah, you just said you check the meaning. Where you check the meaning? You speak, don't speak Arabic. And you said no, to no, me, I just I... check the meaning. In which book? It's, uh, it's not about the meaning. I've checked from Arabic to English what is. That's the Okay, in which book? book? In which book? If you want to check from Arabic to English, you need to check in a book. Is it a dictionary? Give me the name of the dictionary. We will open it. Is it an interpretation? Give me the name of the interpretation. We will open it. So tell me what the, what what book you did the check. Uh, one second. You did not check anything. You see, you are lying to yourself. You don't even have a book. You did not open anything. You are just making a statement to run away from it.
Why, why Muslims? Why Muslims cannot be honest for a day? I will tell you, you are a Muslim. It's against your belief. It's against your belief, my friend. It's against your belief to be a Muslim. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, and he is sub supposedly a person who is descended from your prophet. And I'm going to show you what he is saying. I'm going to show you what your scholars are saying. Are you going to against your scholars? Let us try. Maybe, maybe, no, you, no, maybe but, you can. Hold on. Listen, listen. If the Quran doesn't say, it, then who are these other people to say this is what Allah means? Because this Allah is Ibn Allah Abbas. Allah. This is Ibn Abbas, the only person Muhammad he named him to be Hebrew Ummah, which means he will be the scholar of all Muslims. And this is the interpretation in front of me. It says, if we wish to have a wife, it's in front of you. And this is your Muslim interpretation. And this is Ibn Abbas, the highest scholar ever in Islam. No, and he is the cousin of your prophet. He is from his family. Huh? And he is saying, is if we wish to have a wife. No, no, but this this is one of the verses where we don't really need a scholar because it doesn't say woman clearly. It just says amusement. So if you don't why Muslims, you if you Muslim do not have need a scholar, why Muhammad name him as a scholar? Why Muhammad no, no, named him? Why Muhammad he prayed to Allah? Why Muhammad prayed to Allah saying, make Ibn Abbas Hebrew, the ink of the nation in the knowledge of, of, of Islam. So he prayed for him, looked like Allah prayer did not answer and wasn't answered because he's not good. And now I'm asking you, who are you? You are nobody. How you know that he's wrong? Are you correcting him? Okay, I want you to no, say, no, right? look, I want you to say Ibn Abbas is a donkey. Look, let me just say. Don't tell me, look, I want you to say Ibn Abbas is a donkey. He do not know what he's saying. Okay, no, no, I don't know who that is, so I can't insult him. Sorry. No, why don't insult him? He's, I mean, he's because he's misleading. If it's I not, if it's not, he is, he is that he's a I've companion of your, he's a companion of your prophet. He is a, a cousin of your prophet. He's from the yeah, family but I'm of your not prophet. A scholar. I don't know every single companion. Can I just say, uh, uh, my friend, I don't care if you know or not. I'm showing you the reference. Can you show me reference against what I'm can saying? I, can I just finish um, this? Can you I show me a proof against what I just showed you? I showed you from your books. I can show you from Qurtubi al Tabari. What, what do you want? Any Islamic interpretation you want? Now, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, please. Can you show me proof against my proofs? Are we talking about the same verse? Because you've said so much stuff, I just can't over my head. I'm asking you, can you show me a proof? In the same verse, yes. The same verse. Can you show me a proof against my proof? I gave you proofs that this no, is you're about... you're giving me scholars. Show me the next verse after that. So, That's what if I, I show you, if I show you the scholars... No, no, no. Why do you go oh, on to the oh, next on. verse? Um, Why you call them as scholars if they are idiot? You just say the scholars. No, you, no. you just say... I didn't say idiots, you, but you, I said I don't always... Got my own brain to think about it as well. The you same thing they're gonna do. They they can't talk to God. They think and they analyze. I can do the same as well. Who cares what are you saying? I'm asking. Like, you. Uh, did you did you call did you call them God's did you call words. them scholars? Did you just call them scholars? Man, why you you're just okay? So why like, you I'm call them sure. scholars if they are not? So the scholar is the one who knows what he's talking about, and it's not you are not scholar, right? No, no. But what I'm trying to say is, uh -huh. I don't need a scholar. So what do you mean you do not need a scholar? What do you mean you do not need a scholar? <laughs> Mate, if you like me in a police interview, when you need to let me talk. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you do not need a scholar, so why those books are exist? Let, let, let me, no, no, let me tell you, Jill. It's like I can study books myself. Like I've got the Bible on my phone. Uh -huh. I, I'm studying it myself. I don't always need someone else's help if I get stuck. Okay, enough. so I but want you now, okay, I want you without a scholar to tell me what the word lahma mean. Lahma means amusement. Okay, what amusement mean? It could be anything. I can't say a woman. It can be. It can be a like cat. A no, no, it, I can't say a woman because my friend, I don't like care. Give me what the amusement. You see, you said to me, I do not need a scholar. Wait, no, let me. I said to no tell problem. You, I can't say amusement. In it means a bit, uh, it depends what God's amusement is. I can't say a woman because then I seem like no a problem. Woman. No problem, my friend. No problem. You see, I'm asking you, what yeah. is the amusement? Is you said to me, it could be anything. It could be a cat. It, it could be this worldly. Thing. I don't know. I mean, you're, uh, you're, you're just making out a female just to say that God is a human. Uh, okay. So now I'm asking you what it could <laughs> be, what it could be, Allah will take as an amusement. So you are saying to me, Allah will take an amusement from us. No problem. So now Allah will take amusement from us. That's mean he is amusement too, because he said he will take amusement from us. Okay, you tell me what you think he means. And Our friend, don't tell me. You don't change now. I will go, I'm going no, no, with you. No, no, I'm going you with you. You see, Muslims, they are like, you know, they, they go to the zoo. He jumped from the corner to the corner of the cage. I will go with you now. You said amusement. 
No problem. So now Allah, if he would like to take amusement, he will take from us. That means Allah's amusement to whatever that amusement is. So there's many amusement and he is just one of them because it says the year he would surely taking it from us, taking it from us. So if the word here is amusement, Where does it say from us? Does it say from us or with? From us. Hmm. But are you trying to say that God is not capable of doing whatever he I'm wants? not saying anything. Um, you see, I, I'm not asking you anything. I'm not, I'm not no, saying no, anything. You're, I'm you're showing you, I'm showing you how okay. deceived the Muhammadan are. Your book is a book of, uh, of uh, funny stories. Doesn't make sense. And when Allah, he says he is one, as you told me. I ask you, who is your God? You told me he's one, which yeah, is funny. I still believe he's one. My yeah, friend, yeah, he's there's one. no one in the world like me, proven by science. Does that mean I'm God? That is silly. But as you see here, you are the one who shows the word amusement. And then Allah, based on this, we will we will that's change it. To, we, we, will, we will we take it. We will take it off. You know, we will go to different translations. Says amusement if you want. But that means Allah is one of many amusement because he says, if we want to take an amusement, we will have taken it from us. So us is amusement too. So Allah is one of the amusement. Yeah, have you read the second bit as well? Read the, the, my friend. You can read ten verses my after. Friend, no, no, but you I don't care. Read. read. No, you no, can. But you haven't continued. You have to continue. There's more to it. You I can to continue. continue, no problem. You can continue, no problem. Continue, but would not to change anything. Allah, He confirm. Allah, He confirm that He will take amusement from us. And you are the one who came with the word amusement, not me. No, no. He didn't say he's going to. He said if he wanted to. No this problem. If we want to take. Okay, listen. Yeah, if I want to take. If I want to drive a car. Listen, listen. If I want to drive a car, I would drive one of my cars. Yes. That's mean yes. the cars are but exist. You are God. You are listen, listen. So the cars are exist, correct? So now he is saying that he is a car too. No, no, my friend. Uh, basically, just say in the Bible, if Jesus says, if I wanted to take amusement uh, from you, I would. <laughs> You'd have to believe that because that's your God. If my friend, saying, this is your God it's... saying that. Don't, don't, don't try to escape. You no, see, no, but I'm no, 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 I'm saying, no, I'm saying, I'm uh, asking you, okay, I'm okay. asking you. You are the one who no, no, said no. Allah will take, if Allah will take him, I don't care if he will, maybe now he changed his mind. This was 1400 years ago. So actually it's possible. It is possible. You are the one who said that to me. You said to me, it's possible. He will take. So it's possible now he changed his mind. So if, because he said, if we want to talk, we will take from us. So he is telling yeah, us he will it, take from where? It says, it's like talk. saying, uh, if I want to do shopping, I will go to this mall, not to that mall. No problem. So if no, no, he do shopping, that's mean he will. He doesn't say he has done and he will do. He says, if he wants Nowhere to. it says, you know, okay, listen, listen. As long as Allah, he says that our, our problem, it's not about he took or not. The problem here, Allah will have taken it from us. Us, us. This is the problem. Allah will take it from us. Regardless, he did it, did not do it. He will do it. He will never do it. That's not the problem. Allah will take it from us. So if Allah is unique, if no one like Allah, and then Allah will take that amusement from us, that means he is just one of many amusement because he says us. It's not even two. It's not even three. Us mean many. No, 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 that's it. No, no, I know what you're saying there, but that's a word of respect. It doesn't always say from you, it says it's a bit complicated to explain, but even ah, like the Bible, it's complicated to explain, it's a complicated. No, it's not complicated. Here we go, we open your scar. They say, so If Allah want to take, so if Allah want to take a wife, God. if Allah want to take a wife or a son, he will take from us. So, us, yeah, that he's God, he can do whatever he wants, he's the giver and the taker of life. No, he cannot. Can Allah have a son? He can take whatever he wants and he can no, give whatever he wants. No, no, The Quran says, how can Allah, and this is not my words, can how Allah can have a son if he doesn't have a girlfriend? No, right? man, you've got it twisted. No, my friend, the Quran says that. Here we go. We go can to I the Quran. Can I take the chapter? Huh? Can I take the chapter? So are you saying to me I'm not right about what I'm saying? It's not true? No, no, I'm not saying that. I just want to read it as well because there's so many Chapter 6, chapter 6, verse yeah. number 1. Uh, one zero one. <clears throat> yeah, because I've been talking about so much, I forgot all of them. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, I, I get what you mean with this verse, but does it mean that... I mean, like I said to you, God is capable of doing whatever he My friend, wants. can Allah have a son without a wife? Yes, he can. No, the verse saying the opposite. It says, how can he... How can... Do you see the word can? Do you see it? How can... Yeah. Okay, so who is the one who questioned the ability? Allah. This is not a scholar interpretation. Because when I say how I can do this, and I don't have a girlfriend or a wife, actually the Arabic word sahiba is a girlfriend, not a wife. You know, Allah don't know what a wife. He'd like to have a girlfriend. So how can he have a children when he have no wife? So if Allah, he is God, and you said to me, he's almighty, he can do whatever he want. Well, he do not need... A girlfriend to have a wife, isn't it Mary? She is a woman who have no boyfriend, yet she have a son. So the God of Mary, the true God of Mary, he can make Mary have a son, yet without having a man. But Allah, he cannot do the same. And the proof okay. in front of you. Okay, let me um, talk a second. It, it means... That how is it possible for him to have a child without a consort or so like a female? It's more like why would he? It's not how can he? I don't care why, why he would he. He says how can he? So how can he? This is about the ability. It's not about if he have or not. I don't care. So how can he? So now Allah cannot have a children unless have a wife. Is what the verse no, saying but, in front of you? Don't, don't stop playing games. No, no, but God is not human though. I don't care. But well, no, Allah, my human. friend, Allah is not a human. Maybe he's a cat. A cat because cat, she need a companion. Maybe he is a camel because a camel is an animal who need a companion. A camel by himself, a male camel okay, cannot have a can baby. I, can I just give another verse? No, no, no. You need to answer. Why no, no, Allah cannot? You, you see, you I'm keep skipping. Answer, you keep skipping. I'm going to answer with a verse. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this verse states, but they have attributed to Allah's partners the jinn while he created them and have fabricated for him sons and daughters exalted. I, I am the one who called those verses for you. You forgot? It's me who called six. the verse for you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but this is the one. He says they have fabricated for him. No, okay, no problem. Is Allah so now, is Allah is, now, is Allah now fabricating? Like uh, is Allah now fabricating reasoning? He said, this is his reasoning. How can he have children's when he have no girlfriend. So this is the reasoning of Allah. Allah is in a debate now. He's debating with the Christian prince. I said to no, him, no, Allah, me. Allah, do you have you do, do you have do you have a children? Be. He said to me, Haha, Christian prince, how I can have a children when I don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> Are you stupid or what? So so Allah is no. telling me that he is a human like me, or maybe an animal, or maybe a creature who cannot because he have limitation. When you know when we say God is almighty. And then we find that it's the Almighty is a fake title because here we go. He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. No, no, it's not. Staying it's in the front of you. It's in the front. It wrong. No, no, but it is in a, stop it stop saying no, no. It's, okay, does it say? No, no, there's plenty of I want you to read with me. I want you to read with me. God states that he has no partners. He's got no deity. No, 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 no. Uh, we showed you too that Allah is saying, if we want to take amusement, you are the one who chose amusement. I will go with it. But if we want to take amusement. No, the, why does he say there's no deity apart from him? You see, the Quran says, if this is a book made by the other than Allah, well, you will find a lot of contradiction, correct? Yeah. And this is contradiction. I've got contradictions in the Bible. Does it mean it's no not problem? Wrong? You can find million contradiction if you wish, because you are making them up, but you cannot escape this okay, one. Okay, okay, then I'm going to give you verses. No, no, no. You see, you're trying I to escape. No, 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 my friend, my friend. Okay, okay. okay let, let me ask you. Do you confirm? Do you confirm that the Bible have contradiction? Yes. Okay. That's mean your God, Allah, is a fake God too. Because the God of the Quran, he confirmed the Bible, which is with us. So okay, you, so you believe my God then? No, I don't believe in him. He is a, he is a thief, but he's, he, 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 he <laughs> by mistake, he made the truth. He said the truth. You know, always some liars, they have to say the truth between the story. So look, okay, what, your, look, look what your God what said. Look what your God said. And when they come to them... The Jews or the Christians, a book, a Quran from Allah confirming what is with them, the Torah and the Gospel. It's in the front yeah, of you. you. No, no, but not all of you uh, what? read the Gospel. You don't all read the Gospel. You've got many books. No, we have many. No, we don't have. It's you who have many books. You have millions of Qurans. For us, no, if you... we don't. No, you do. You do. Okay. No, no, okay. Can you give me? Can you give me the Quran of Muhammad? 
it's the one we've all got. It's the, there's only one Quran. Can you give me the Quran of Muhammad? No, you don't. What have you said? Have you read it? It's an exist to read it. <laughs> but how do you know that we what we read is not the same? Because your Muslim says it's not exist. Well, I've never said that. Open your Quran. You have Quran in Arabic. It says this Quran, whatever top copy you have, it says this Quran is according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to recitation. Recitation. You don't even have a written book. You have a recitation. No, no, Listen, the Quran, they, they the most the, 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 the Quran in front of us is Quran of who? That, this that, is the, there's only one Quran, man. I'll tell you the no, Quran. Abdul, the no, listen, the listen, Quran, my friend. No. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Listen carefully. There's Quran of Fatima, there's Quran of Uthman, there's a Quran of uh, uh, Hafiz, there's Quran, uh, there, there's, there's more yeah, than, they, they there's had, more than 900, 900 Quran, and I can show you the reference for that. No, but no, no. Focus okay, with me, so focus with me. me. You're a prophet, he said, he received seven Quran. Do you deny that? Wait, sorry, say that again. You're a prophet, he said, he received seven Quran. I, I don't understand you. Your prophet says he received seven Quran. He receives the Quran? Seven Quran. Seven Quran? Yes. Where does it say that? So are you saying that your prophet is a liar? No, no, I'm just saying where does it say that? No, 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 I'm saying too. You no, just no, told saying, me. No, 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 I'm just no, saying no. too. No, 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 you know, you remember me of the guy who is learning how to speak of say hamburger. The guy in the in the in the yeah. pink panther. Listen, my friend. No, 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 no. You just said to me, "There's one Quran. There's one Quran. There's one Quran." Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we go. We find that Muhammad himself reporting that there is at least seven Quran. Where does he say that, though? It's in the front of you. No, but what chapter, verse? This is Hadith. Oh, but look, I spoke to someone about this. I'm still new, a bit new to religion. I don't know about the Hadith too much. Don't you know about Yasser Qadi when he speak? There is a hole in the narrative. Because it, may, it got made 200 years after the Prophet. My friend, did you hear Zakir, uh, 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 Muhammad Hijab and Yasser Qadi saying there is a hole in the narrative and you are telling me you never heard of this video, which is very famous. Every Muslim knows about it. But well, I need to see the different Quran then. I'm asking you, I'm all, I'm are you are saying, you claiming are you claiming that you never saw the video of Yasser Qadi with Mimi Hijab and Mimi Hijab got busted by Yasser Qadi saying that there is a hole in the narrative and it was the seven readings of the Quran. But is okay, then are the copies very different to the actual book? So now you know, but you lied to me. You said to me there's no, no, only I one Quran. Mate, I don't, I'm not lying. I don't know you. I'm, I'm trying to ask genuine questions. My friend, you are lying. not asking genuine question. You denied it. You said it's not exist. So even your prophet, he says, I receive seven Quran. Where are they? Okay, but have you have you read the different Everybody Quran? heard you saying there's only one Quran. That's mean, according to you, there is six yeah, Quran yeah. are lost. Yeah, yeah, I still agree with that. No, no. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen. No, no, I agree. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, I agree, I agree. I know you agree. No, no, you have to agree. Bob, I agree but I now, listen, listen. When you said Quran. to me, "There's only one Quran," that's mean, according to you, there is six Qurans are lost. Do you know why I believe that? Because there's a verse in the Quran that says we will preserve this book. So I believe that because obviously I'm a Muslim. So okay, give me the Quran. The, give me the verse about the breastfeeding for adult. Well, I don't know. I don't think that's in the Quran. It is in the Quran. Breastfeeding adults? Yes. Is that what you want to do? I'm asking you. Give me the verse. You said the Quran is going to be preserved by Allah. So I'm asking you, can you give me the verse about the breastfeeding for adults? Um, it, it's coming up as the Hadith. Mm hmm. But it's, it doesn't, I don't, I can't see in the Quran anywhere. But you just told me the Quran is preserved. So now you confirm that you cannot find those verses no, no, in the Quran. No, hold on, you just said hadith. Okay, how, the, just, how those verses... Wait, hold on, this is the Hadith though. You're asking me about the Quran. The hadith is separate to the Quran. The, who care? I mean, this is your Islamic source. You Muslims, Quran, all, you Muslims all your religion is in the Hadith. No, no, but in the Quran, it doesn't say You Muslims, that. all your religion in the Hadith. The Quran says you do muta. What do you do? You stop doing muta. Why? Because the Hadith says don't do muta. So you have to follow the Hadith. So don't play games now with the Hadith. And this is authentic Hadith. So now the Hadith confirm, and this is Aisha. She is not somebody stranger. And you Muslims respect her highly, supposedly. Saying that the verses of stoning and breast feeding for adult ten times was revealed. Do you see it says revealed and says verses, not hadith? 
no, no, revealed. No, no, hold on, you're hmm. talking about hadith, but you haven't shown me different verses in the Quran. What you claim to have been changed and missing and stuff. You want me to change? You want me to show that? you the verse? The verse is gone. I see the goat ate it. Where? Where does it say that? It says in front of you the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult, ten time was revealed, and the paper was under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and the tame sheep came and ate it. Mate, there's no proof of that. The proof in front of you, this is Aisha. Are you saying Aisha is a liar? Is it in the hadith? hadith sorry. So what? I don't see. I'm not too. I don't know about the hadith. Too okay, my friend. Questions. I'm going to take another Did caller you know? because you are wasting my time now. You can call me later. <laughs> it's not up to you to say I talk. I take this. I take that. Who are you? Uh, where is the Muslim he's trying to call? Where is the guy Ali? I thought Ali was trying to call me. Hmm. Let us see this guy. Do you see how funny, stupid this religion? They claim that they have one God. We find out that there's no God. There's no way this God will say such a thing. And what kind of God he's saying the breastfeeding for adult verses? <laughs> the God of Tits Sakalim? I'm calling this potato who was calling me many time and now he's not answering. Okay, let me block you. So he was just trying to disturb our conversation. So how many Quran you have? We have one Quran. Your prophet says there are seven. Oh, we uh, preserve the Quran. Okay, give me those verses. Omar al Khattab, he says, the Quran is a million and 25,000 letters. Some, they say less. But that's mean. There's more than 75 to 80% of the Quran is gone. And you know, for me, I am so upset because the goat ate it. It would be fun to have a verse from God ordering Muslim women to wear hijab, but yet their nipples is coming out from their chest and they were suckling going in the bus. And there's videos all over YouTube, sheikhs and imams teaching you that, yes, this is what the prophet says. A woman, she said to the sheikh, well, I work in a studio. She was doing TV interview. I have the engineer, I have the technicians, I have the electricians, I have the directors, I have many men around me. What I should do? You should say, say, say it. well, you should do breastfeeding for adults, for them. 10 times for each one of them. So the Muslim Abdul is busy about his God is one or two or three and 20. You look at this garbage. Who, who cares if your God is one or seven? Your God is one of an idiot. What kind of God he will come with such a ruling? Do really I care if your God is one or seven eleven? You know, when somebody he speak about his God that he is one God, he think he have a privilege. That is a really stupid idea because it's not you who decide if God is one or two or five. What if there are a million God? If they are exist, they are exist. What you can do about it? <laughs> But there's no God will send the verses saying to a woman, you have to give your and 10 times. Look at the numbers. 10 times. Look, listen, nine times it doesn't work. So a, an adult man have a beard. He have to sit in your wife's lap. By the way, still he can have sex with her. So what's the point of this? So they don't have one God. The Quran have contradiction. Obviously, it cannot be one. And if you have one, this one is an idiot. He says stupid things. What is the verse of stoning to death? The Muslim, they say, we practice it, we don't have it. Well, that's mean there's a missing verses. Because as you see, you want to practice it. So it's necessarily to have it. Why somebody want to delete a verse, he is going to follow it. 
why we how how we are going to follow Allah and we delete Allah what is the what is the the logic of that this is a very funny silly stupid book this God is one God but he thinks the sun set in the muddy water this God is one God but he thinks that the sperm is coming from the backbone my backbone is hurting me by the way now I know Mm. Man, the prophet he used to have sex with all his wives in one hour, which actually not hour. It says sa sa in Arabic mean hour today, but in the time of Muhammad they use it for like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. Muhammad he did beat me in that. I cannot have sex with thirteen women in twenty minutes because I'm not a rabbit. What is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? He he's so good in sex, and then we find that Muhammad invoke his God. And his penis is not working. And then his God, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40 men. And then we ask ourselves, how Muhammad, he measured the power of 40 men? Do they have a race in his time? Like they bring women? And Muhammad, he start, and you start, and everybody start. You st all of you, you start in my, in my, in my, in, uh, in my shot. All of them, they start ifing. And then Muhammad, he beat everybody. He have the power of 40 men. This is a religion, a prophet, he have the power of ifing, of 40 men. Why not 40 horse? And what that will prove that he is a prophet? And then we find that in the hadith says that prophet, he don't even have a power of a rabbit. He said, I was the most weak person between mankind and insects. Which means even if you play the anthem for Muhammad private part, it's not going to stand up. You play the anthem, you play whatever you play. It's not going to work. And then we find that Muhammad is mentally ill. He imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. And who is the one who witnessed that? It's not the neighbor, this is the wife. This reminds me of a movie of a person, uh, you know, I don't know if you name the name, you know, watch this movie. She speaks exactly about Muhammad. It's called The Perfect Host. It's a guy who sent letters to himself in the mailbox. He sent letters to himself. He put them in the mailbox. He write them. He put stamp on them. He put them in the mailbox for himself. And then he opened the letters. And the letter is from his girlfriend. And then he invite people to dinner. And he have sex with people in the dinner. But there's nobody with him. The house is empty. This is Muhammad. So when they say to us they have a God, and when we check this God, we find this God, he cannot be God. Why? Because, okay, here we go. Muhammad the Quran says that Allah is going to protect you from mankind. Well, Muhammad is under black magic. The Quran says Allah will protect you even from the genie, which means shaitan. But Muhammad is under black magic. Even his sex was fake. And this Quran says clearly, if this book is made by other than Allah, which is funny, you will find a lot of contradiction. Chapter 5, verse number 67 says, O Messenger of Allah, proclaim the message huh? which has been sent down to you from your Lord. And if you don't, then you have not conveyed his message. Allah protect you from mankind. And then we find that Muhammad was under black magic. Muhammad was killed by poison. So where is the protection from black from from mankind? And actually, by the way, when it says mankind here, it says a nas. A nas means all people, not because somebody might say to you, "Oh, the women." It was a woman who killed him. The Quran promised him to be not to be killed by men. The Arabic is a nas. Nas means everybody, all the people, the people. So this is a religion can stand up, have a feet as long as you are an ignorant. The second you speak to someone like me, you will find that this is not only it has holes in the narrative, this is a basket which is impossible to put water in it because all of it is holes. Bamboo basket. The holes are so big.
And the funny is, the second you show them a proof from their books, they say, this is what they are saying. That's not my problem. I don't agree with them. Who are you? If you are a person don't agree with Aisha, what do you call me? Go make a video, laugh at Aisha, then be a man. Expose Aisha. I don't want you to agree with me. Agree with your own religion. But they are ashamed of their religion. So he call you. Can you tell me about the Trinity? I have a question about the Trinity. This is what you are worried about, Trinity. You have a God who will give you endless penis. Your wife, she will be one mile ass. And, and women, they will be see-through, which is disgusting. A white supremacist cult obsessed with the white color. What kind of religion will promise me women who I can see through their bones? Do you think I'm a dog and I get excited by bones? Why a man will be excited by seeing women bones? Not only the bones, you will see the marrow of the bones. Is that God? But this God, he is speaking to Arab desert people who like to see white women. Why? Because women in the Arabia, they are not, 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 not dark skin. But because they are so exposed to much the sun, only the spoiled one, she stay home. She is really white. The second you go out of the tent and you start working with the goats and the animals, which majority they do that, then you will get darker skin. So the white one present, the one she is, is spoiled. Obsession with the white skin. And because he knew that his people are obsessed with white women, he gave them an exaggeration promises. Your woman, she will be so white to the point you can see three through her bones. And imagine this, just imagine, just for a second imagine. You are now in the heaven of Allah, and this is the versions which Allah, he promised you. Now let us be honest, isn't it, this is super zagzi? You see, for us, Allah, he understand our situation as men. Your wife, she eat your hamburger. You ask her, did you eat it? She say, not me. It's already in the bill. You can't see it. She take your credit card. She hide it in her bra. Do you see? Did you see my credit card? She said, not me. All days is over. Now we can see everything. Allah, he decided to take the side of us and save us from the women conspiracy. So now your wife, she cannot hide anything in her panty or her backpack or her bra or take money from your pocket or your wallet. And she said, I did not see them. All this is over. Hey, women. Hello. This is what God Allah will give me in heaven. A woman I can see through their bones. She is sexy and you know it. And imagine those women, they are doing some special dance for you. And positions. Aren't you going to believe now that Allah must be God? Who is going to promise such a promises unless he is God? Let us be honest. Huh? For how long you Christians Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, you can run away from the truth. She looked like a jellyfish for me. And this is a promise of God. By the way, just disclaimer, I'm not showing anyone pictures, those are my wives, okay? Because I know some people will say, oh, he's showing pictures of women, etc. No, those are, I have many wives, as you know. Prophet, I am prophet. I, my, you see? 
The name is the Arabian prophet. I get the title because of what? Too many women. The first thing a woman she do, she enter my house, I have a scanner. I put her in the in a scanner, you know, you know, we take a scan, and then I dream about my heaven in the future. You know, I cannot see that now, but I can see it in the machine. So I just I have the pictures all around my room. I look in the top of my head. I don't see a lemon tree. I see X-ray women picture. I love those pictures. Especially when you see the poopo inside. And now we know who ate the hamburger. They cannot lie to us no more, my friend. Those women, their days is over. Look at the poopo. Enough is enough with those women. Taking advantage of us. And then the Muhammadan, he is worried about the Trinity. Every Muslim want to debate about the Trinity. When he have the most funny, silly, stupid God ever. A God who do not know where the sperm is coming from. Which one he created first? The mountains or the stars? I mean, if you want to count, you can read my books. If one account all the stupid things Allah He said in the Quran, Aka Muhammad, you will die laughing. And just today we show you some examples of it. Do we have any Muslim? He is a sheikh. You see, the title of this video, or the picture and the thumb, it's about Mufti Mink speaking about uh, Muslims losing their faith. Do you even have a faith? Faith in what? That there's a God who will give you a woman like X-ray? There's a God who promised you that your private part will never go limp? What if it go limp? Are you in trouble? Can you pump it? This funny stupid cult is so easy to expose or to expose. The problem is, many do not know how to argue with those Abdus and corner them. As you see, they are professionals in changing topic, in the speed of light. They are professionals in escaping a question by saying, I do not know. I do not accept this car. Ah, oh, you are showing me a hadith. Oh, hadith is weak. Oh, but I used to say sahih. I don't care. They are a professional in running. You cannot do that with me. Here we got you busted with no mercy. If there is any Muslim, well, as long as there's no Muslims, I hang up on this guy. Let us call him again. One last, one last try. Yes, my friend, did you watch what we said? My friend, as you see, you Muslims do not even know your God first, so why you are debating me about? Yeah, no, that's fine, not, not fine, no, no, no. No, no, not fine. No, my friend, not fine with me. You see, here I am here to show Muslims that Islam is a stupid. So you are trying to change my topic to talk about something. No, man, it's not up to you, my friend. It's not up to you. You are trying. You are trying. Okay, let me ask you. Is the Trinity wrong? Why? Okay, just look what you just said. You said, Allah, he said, if you want to have a son, he said, you are yourself, you said, it's possible if you want to have son, it's up to him, he's almighty, correct? No, no, listen, 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 listen. You said to me, it's possible if you wanted to have son, right? So in case of my God, it's impossible. In case of your God, it's possible. 
Well, Jesus, he, he, Jesus, he is praying to the Father, and the Father is glorifying Jesus. My friend, we have the Trinity. This is what Trinity is about. That God, the Son, listen, 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 listen. I give you a chance. I give you a chance to ask you the question, right? So listen, let us look. If I show you the Trinity from the Quran, what you will do? I can show you from the Quran. You don't believe in my book. It's not up to you. It's not up to you, you know. Okay, in my book, in the beginning, right away you go in the book of Genesis, you will find in, that God, he created the earth and the heaven, and his spirit was above the, the water. Is that correct? Hello? Okay, in our book, God has a spirit, correct? And he is a spirit. Is that correct? Is your God is a spirit? He is. Your God, your God. Is, my God is a spirit, and you agreed. I'm saying now, your God, is he a spirit? Why? He's just God? Okay, how God can be alive if he have no spirit? No, if we go now, I'm not comparing to anything that I compare. I did not. But Allah, he compare. Look, your Quran says that Allah, when he created Adam, he breathed from his spirit. I'm going to show you what that have to do with the Trinity. Is it saying, is it, is it saying, is it saying that Allah, he breathed from his spirit into Adam? Yes or no? Okay. What the word breathe mean? Well, yeah, tell me. I think my English is not good. Like what? I don't, uh, what does that mean? Explain to me, explain to me by, by, by huge words. So Allah, he inhale and he exhale. Uh, well, Allah, he said to breathe. He did not say, he used the word you use, which is he breathe. I ask you what to breathe mean. You said he inhale and he exhale. So, okay, here it says, Allah, he exhale the soul. There's a soul inside Allah. Do you agree? Yeah, because he, you are the one who said that to me, you forgot. I ask you what to breathe mean. You said the exhale and inhale. Wonderful. So now, Allah, he breathed to Adam a soul. Where the soul came in from? From inside Allah. Also, Allah, he said things he don't mean. He is a liar. No, this is about a physical action. It says, when I fashioned him, completed him, and then I breathed into him. This is all is, a, is an action. It is something happened. It's not a metaphorical. Him. Sorry, guys. Uh, his voice was down. So let us go back to zero. I apologize, guys. His voice was down for some reason. So listen, uh, yeah. let us go to the beginning. You said you want to know about the Trinity. I said to you, I want to show you Trinity from the from from your Quran, and then you said to me how that God can have a son, and then how Jesus he can pray to the Father, correct? Yeah. And then I said to you that Jesus he speak to the Father. That's what the Trinity is about. And then I said to you that your God Allah Himself in the yeah. Trinity. When we saw about Trinity, is your God Allah is a spirit? You said no, he's a spirit, correct? Yeah. Okay, and I ask you then, if he is not a spirit, how then he, you know, how he breathe from his, uh, uh, into, into Adam, a spirit, and what the word breathe mean? You said to me, it's mean inhale and exhale, correct? Did you say that? Yes. Okay, say it again. What is the word breathe mean? C can I just uh, um, say a bit No, more? because they did not hear you, my friend. The mic was, well, inhale your mic was off. Exhale. Uh, inhale and exhale. Okay, so when Allah, he breathed into Adam, he inhale and he exhale. Explain to us. No, no, but that's uh, in God terms, that might be different. I can't say if it's inhale and exhale. You know, so you are saying to me, it might be different. Is it different or it might be? No, no. Um, basically, when God says breathe, it means given as well. It doesn't always mean inhale, exhale. It says like he breathe. Said. There's a huge difference between the word give and breathe. No, mate. You, you know what? You're just okay. Does it say in Arabic? Does it say in Arabic, he gave him a, a, a soul? Or it says, I breathe into him. 
I'm not too sure to be honest. What do you mean not too sure? You are eating. You are eating. You are eating now. Uh, what? Um, I, I don't know, but yeah, you, you can carry on. You explain them. You can take a vitamin to give me the answer. It says here in front of me, and this is your, I can move to any Islamic translation you wish. All of them they say Allah He breathe. Right. Okay. Okay. Is Allah is empty inside him or he is full? I don't know what you mean. Is he empty or is he full? Well, he have inside. He have a space, empty space inside him, like a stomach. You know, I have a space inside me. You know, I have uh, air I mean, can go through. I have lungs. I have a stomach. I have empty, heart. But know, my heart is uh, in the not in the in my is in my right if side. I speak to, if I speak to my mom and she says to me, I looked after you as a kid. I breathed. Well, I this is not you. the case here. That doesn't mean even, even according to Muslims, even according to Muslims, this is not the no, case. No, Stop. This is what I'm trying to say. No, to you, you cannot you try. The, you cannot try. It's the a, meaning. It no, is no, not up to you, Allah. He breathed and he breathed literally. But when no, mate, you've got it wrong. You're very clever, but you've got it wrong. My friend, I am very clever. It's not up to you to give me this title. Your God, Allah, cannot even answer me, cannot debate me, and none of you can answer me. And that's why you are saying that. I'm asking you now. When Allah, He says, I breathe, did He choose the wrong word? No. Okay. Then give me the meaning of a breathing into Him. Give me the meaning of a breathing into Him. No, no, but I can't compare myself to God because if God I don't, breathing, I, he I, could mean I'm not life. asking you to compare to him. He compared himself to us by using the word breathing because we breathe, cats breathe, dogs breathe, rats breathe. So, and Allah, he breathe. So I'm asking you now, when Allah, he used the word breathe, is he is using a word we understand very well or yeah, he no, is no, using, like he or he is is using like, the wrong yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. We, no, no, we understand it is. Okay, yeah, carry on. <clears throat> no, not carry on. I'm asking you. Do you have a proof that when Allah, he says, breathe, he means something else? I haven't read it, to be honest. You are a Muslim who is studying the Trinity, but you never read anything in your Quran. Yeah, because I'm curious about Trinity. You're not really explaining But so it. you are not curious about your God, Allah, he breathe. No, no, I know my God. No, you do not know your God. He will go, everything I said to you, you said to me, I just learned it. Okay, yeah, he breathed, yeah. So what's your point? No, you do not know. So why you are saying you know your God? So I see the title, it says, who is Allah? You Muslims do not know who you're worshipping. You are just a copy-paste following each other. You do not know what Allah means. What Allah mean? So you saying we copied um, Christianity? No, you are not copying us. You are copying the pagan Arab. No, no, how? But we've got different way of No, life you don't, you don't. No, the Arab, the Arab they kiss the black the stone. Okay, the Arab kiss the black stone. Did your prophet kiss the black stone? He probably did. Okay, don't tell me properly. Did he or did not? Yes, he did. But okay, so why you said to me properly? Why you said to me properly when he okay, did but, indeed? Okay, that just come up. But what? what no, no, no. Why Muslims they play games? Why they cannot give a straight answer? Why I have to squeeze you to get the okay, answer no, no, as no, if I'm squeezing a goat? Okay, so, that, that so you're a prophet today. and you agree that your prophet he did kiss the black stone. Did the Arab kiss the black stone too? What does that matter though? It matter, you Muslim, you he claim that you worship one. It it's you, it's it. you Muslim, you claim you worship one God. It turned to be that you are a black stone kisser. I, I've never, not every Muslim kisses the black stone. So are you saying to me you are better than your prophet and you will never do so? No, no, but not every Muslim kisses the black stone. I don't no. care. I'm asking you. Are you saying I, that? I told you. Are you saying to me that if he good, wants to kiss the black are you stone, saying to me fine, that good? Okay. Are you saying to me that good Muslims will never do so? No, they don't all have to. There's no. This is not the question. Is. You said yeah, not every Muslim do kiss the black stone first. Even if you don't no, kiss, first, it doesn't make you a bad no, Muslim. No, first, first, you have to kiss to the black you, stone. Aren't you a Muslim Sunni? Yes. Okay, so Sunni mean you follow the steps of your prophet. Yeah. That's mean you kiss the black stone as he kisses. So why you are, to, why you are lying to no yourself? Way it says that we have to do it. What? No, it says you have to follow the prophet. But we don't have to do. The okay, why the prophet he kissed the black stone? I will go. I will go. Listen, listen. I will go with you. Why your prophet he kissed the black stone? I don't know. You can tell me. You, you see, see each time I ask you a question, the answer is I do not know. No, no. You can answer. I want to hear your answer. Is it a stone? Yes. Is it useless or useful? Um, like like I said to you, not every Muslim does it. This is not the question. Focus on the question. Is it useless or useful? 
Well, it's not in the Quran, so I don't. I don't care. If, it's if not it's not in the Quran, so why your prophet is not following the teaching of his God? Are you saying to me that your prophet Muhammad is not following Allah teaching? Um, I mean, he is, but if he wants to do that separately, that's up to him. What separately is up to him, or it's up to Allah? It's up to him as well. Like. Ah, so you do not need to follow Allah. You need to follow Muhammad, and Muhammad is up to him. He do as he wish. Right, okay. What are you okay? No, 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 I agree, yeah. Okay, so Muhammad, he do as he wish, correct? Yes. Okay. Why he kissed it? Um, I, I don't know why he kissed it. So the answer now you have is, I don't know? It's in the Hadith, man. It's not is, that, the is that your first name or last name? I don't know. M Muslims believe that I was sent down. I don't care. Uh, Muslim believe what? That I was sent down by Allah to okay. be from Paradise. Well, Allah, he sent a donkey to Muhammad. Are you Muslim going to tie the donkey which sent to Muhammad? as called the Burak. Are you going <laughs> to tie the donkey to the Kaaba? Listen, I'm not making fun. I'm not making fun. I'm asking you a question. You said this is stone sent by Allah. From heaven, no problem. Allah, he sent a donkey to Muhammad from heaven. Are you Muslims are willing to tie the donkey of of Allah to the Kaaba and start kissing the, the donkey, all, all parts? Because it doesn't say we have to do that, though. Huh? It doesn't say we have to do that. Well, if you if your prophet did it, you have to do it. No, no, but he doesn't say that he did that. He did not kiss the ass of the donkey. I'm not saying that. You said to me that the reason no, you man, kiss the black stone. Rude. Come on. I'm not being rude, my friend. I'm not being. I'm not being rude. I'm, I'm not being you rude. About Trinity, you're about my friend, friends. look with me. Look with me. Isn't this is the, the, the black Trinity. stone? Why the man, black stone? Why the black you're, stone? You're asking me too many. Why the black stone in the shape of a vagina? Listen, you. I, listen, Why the black stone made in the shape of a vagina? Listen, I've asked you one question. You asked no, me you did not. You did not what? ask me. I did you not ask you. An we are having a conversation you and you keep running away. So no, now you are a you pagan person who believes in mate, stones and this I, stone look, is a vagina. Look, is it, it true? One of my questions with 15 of your questions. My friend, is it, I asked you about Trinity is it true? Is it true? Is it true that the black stone the Arab used to use it before. Women, they go around the Kaaba, they touch their vagina when they have their period. That is bullshit. Okay, what if I show you the reference? No, 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 that is not true. What do you mean, no, no? If I show you the reference from your books, Tafsir. Is it in the Quran? Tafsir of the Quran. Is it in the Quran? Show me. Show you from the Tafsir of the Quran. Yeah. So are you saying to me that you Muslims, when you explain your religion in book of Tafsir, you Muslims lie? No, no, I just want to see it. I didn't say we lie. So, why you don't accept the tafsir? Just, I just want to see it. Okay, if so I show you tafsir now, you accept? I asked you about the Trinity, though, mate. If I show you the tafsir, you will see it. So, I look what happened. Because now we prove that Islam is a pagan cult. You try to escape and you say, I want to... You okay, see the, once you the can title of my on... video, okay, Live Debate, Who is Allah? You call me to talk about the Trinity. Well, the Trinity, my friend, the Trinity is... That God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Son, according to the Quran, is a holy person. His name is so Jesus. Quran, listen, listen, listen. Books? I use the Quran because you don't believe in my book anyway. So I got you busted no, from no, your book. No, no, but I want to know from your point of view, not my. I am showing point you. Point uh, this is this is my friend. I am a, I am a person. I don't want to speak not about. You're Muslim, though, are you? I'm not like Muslim for sure. I don't kiss black stone and don't kiss no, vaginas. No, are you an ex-Muslim? No, I will. I, I, I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. Are you insulting me? Okay. No, no, <laughs> that was... Yeah, because what kind of a human being he believed that there's a God who will make his penis endless? Imagine you live here, you know, and then your penis is in the Amazon but River. I've got many verses And from those the fishes, and those answer. fishes in the Amazon, they are biting your penis. What kind of God he promised okay, such a promise? I've got verses in the Bible. My friend, you are wasting my time. Go. Look, look, Get, see, I... okay, okay. You see, you are wasting my time. You don't want to talk about your shame. You Muslims are pagans. Black stone kissers, a vagina kisser. And guess what? Do you know, he's calling again. Do you know that even the black stone is not exist no more? Okay, my friend, with all due respect, I want you to know a bit about Christianity. You cannot teach me about Christianity because you don't even know no, your I'm religion. I'm going to teach you, but I want to know. No, my friend. Because I, nobody has a I, I am here. You. you see, my name is not a Christian priest. I, my name is a Christian prince who get Allah busted.
So you're trying okay, to change. That's fine, you're but trying you don't know to your change. You are trying to change. I am the one no, who no. knows. You know nothing. I approve to you that I no know your. I know my. I know my book. You do not know your book. Okay, but I want and to ask you. So questions. listen. Look, Before you come to, ask... to me and ask me about my belief, I, I promise asking, you. I'm asking. I'm not trying to. Okay, I them. promise you. I will make. I will make a promise. I will make a promise in front of everybody. If you den denounce Muhammad to be a prophet and you say he's a false prophet and Allah is a false god, I will change the topic 100 percent. Speak only about the Bible. What do you think? Show me where he's a false prophet. I just did. May I'm trying to be respectful. I want to know about Christianity. You see, not... I'm asking you because look, this is this is my mission. No, no, my that, my mission, my friend, my mission no, is no, 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 my mission you. is to format the, the, the mental illness in the brain of a Muhammadan and fix his brain and make him see the truth, and then I will give him the truth, and the truth is Jesus. So if you agree, why, if you agree, you if you Islam? agree why that Muhammad is a false prophet, he is a bad man, Islam? he is an evil man, he is a criminal man, then we can go and why, speak why about the Bible you? before that. Okay, but why Before? do you hate Islam so much? I love Muslims. No, no, but why do you hate Islam? I hate Satan. But Islam is not Satan. Have Islam is Satan. Islam? Here we go. Let no, me no, ask you, who is the one who deceives Satan? Let me uh, let me just say. No, don't tell me. Off. Let me say, who no, is the one who deceives Satan? Is it true? Is it true that Satan was deceived by Allah? <sighs> Satan was deceived by Allah? Yes. Where did you say that? So if I show you now what you would do. No, no, I just want to read it. Maybe you keep I'll saying to me what you say is that. What, 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 yeah, what, yeah, because what, I want to. So, are you saying this is not true? Okay, if this is true, what you would do? Then, you know, what, what do you want me to do? I'll start singing, drinking. What well, that's mean do? Allah is a Satan. Here we go. This is a chapter 15, verse number 39. It says that Allah is the one who misled Shaitan and make him a bad person. So who is Shaitan? Where does it say that God misled him? Huh? It say, it says because you have put me in error, I will make I will make disobedience attractive to them on earth. So God, you know, Satan said to God that he's going to try misguiding everyone. Yeah, but who is the one misguiding him first? And it's already happening Who now. is the everyone one who misguided? Misguide? Hold on, this is the, you, you guys see, are following You see, you are jumping like a rabbit. The first part no, no, saying, I'm trying to, listen, you know, listen, listen it says, Iblis, Iblis, Satan, he said, Oh my yeah. Lord, because yeah. you misled me, I shall mislead them. Where who does is... it say misled? I'm looking at a verse. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. May I'm reading the verse. It says, because you have put me in error. What, we put me in error? Yeah. The Muslim translation is saying, put me in error? Okay, explain that to me. Allah, he made shaitan do error. What does that mean? All I know, listen, all I know about Iblis, he wasn't willing to bow down to God. <laughs> so he... Just take care. Take a hike, my friend. Just take a hike. You can call me some other time, but I'm done with you. Do you see, guys, how stupid this version is? The true shaitan is Allah. The true shaitan is Allah, because the Quran confirmed that Satan, he was misled, was deceived by the big shaitan, which is Allah. Shaitan is not a bad person. And actually in this verse, Allah and shaitan, they have an agreement that you do misled Except those who worship me. Do you see it? Which is a proof that Allah is a stupid. Why? How many Muslims they left Islam here, life on air? How many ten thousands? Who is the one who misled them out of Islam? The Muslim they will say Shaitan. The verse saying, except my slaves. And to go even farther, when Muhammad received satanic verses, was Muhammad from the good servants of Allah? 
how shaitan was able to put him in error or to mislead him if muhammad is a good person then shaitan he cannot mislead him and the verse saying that in the front of you you see how stupid this cult is how many people will leave Islam today? How many people gave a like to our work? People give a like to a woman showing her skirt. A woman showing her panty. A scumbag making reaction to the Quran. The truth, nobody give it a like. This is why you will see a low view of people who do the truth, who share the truth. If you are a fraud, if you are naked, if you are a porn star, they call them stars even. You will have a high view. Literally, if you are a scumbag. Why you hate Islam, he said. I hate lies, my friend, and we love Muslims. Jesus says, love your enemy. Pray for those who curse you. You curse us every day, five times a day. When you recite the chapter of Al-Fatiha, please, Allah, don't make us the same as the lost Christians or the cursed Jews. And who is the one who's cursed? Look at you. Look at you, how successful you are. You have a failure in everything. Islamic family is a big failure. A hundred kids, tons of wives, and they hate each other. And that brings failure to society. Crimes is so flourishing in every Islamic society. Because there's no family. It's a corporation of sexual contract. You marry a woman, you divorce her by text message. She is over. You deliver her to your door. Just pay the bill. And when you are done, you kick her. It's over. Delivery. Islam is not even religion. Islam is a scam. There's no God who will promise those gods. Well, Shafraz, I did call you, you did not answer. So give me a break. You can call me maybe next time. We are done almost for today. So as you see, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. And I, in, I challenge all Muslim cleric. Where is your cleric? Where is your sheikhs with the long beard? Why didn't call? Do you know why? Because what he will say, he will say, I do not know. This Abdul, he can say, I do not know. Can Mufti Mink say, I do not know? That would be very embarrassing. They will debate you only if you are a person who know nothing about Islam. The second they notice that you are the one who have all the laundry of Muhammad, they will take a hike. They will stay away from you. Let us see how many of you will make a comment because most of you make no comment. You are so cheap in everything. People become so cheap. They will make a comment only if it is something silly. When something is very serious, nothing moves people these days no more. Nothing moves them. Except their desire, money, sex. The truth doesn't move people no more. Let us see how many people will share. Safaraz, the black stone kisser, is calling me a pagan. That is funny. Well, next time, call me, my friend. I called you and you did not answer. And don't forget to take a selfie of yourself, putting your head inside the black stone. Because obviously you are not a pagan. Isn't it your prophet, he says, that the black stone erase your sin? 
I thought God erased your sin. What kind of God? He teach you that if you touch his stones, and they are stones, by touching them, it erases your sin. Is that your prophet saying that, or Christian prince saying that? Oh, Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching the two corners, which mean the black stone corner and the Yemeni corner? The Yemeni corner have some corners from the temple of Al Makkah, which is the moon god temple. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah say, touching them erase your sin. So, Mr. Shavar Zavar, is your sin is erased or you did not touch them yet? This is how stupid this cult is. They go to casinos, they drink, they sleep around, they have, uh, and they go and they touch the stone. Eh, touch you. I'm now like a baby. Alhamdulillah. Oh, hold on. The pagan Muhammad, even he come with better method. If you say, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, 100 times, all your sin is forgiven, even if your sin like the foam of the ocean. Rather, don't worry about sin no more. Just say, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. That's it, brother. Look how easy easy. This is the religion? Brother, look at this hadith. Man, Allah is a W short wave, mean. Said whoever says Subhanallah, Bihamdihi, 100 times a day will have his sin forgiven even if they are like the foam of the sea. I wish that would work for laundry. Do you think it works for laundry if we put the Muslim in their wares? And we say, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, they will clean again. I mean, this is a very strong phrase to the point to erase your sin, even a brother. If your sin more than the foam of the sea. And if you don't believe me, I can call Zachary Nack right now. Christian Prince, first of all, you are lying. It didn't say like the foam of the sea. Okay, Zachary Nack, hold on. Do you speak Arabic? Now in the world, you jump in the conversation. Christian Prince. In Arabic, it said, مثل دبد البحر. Zakar Naik, you speak Arabic now? Yes, because I went to Arab for Christ and I was learning Arabic from you. And so you learn Arabic from me, and now you are going to teach me Arabic. So why your Muslim translation says foam? Because they are foaming you. What the heck? What does that mean? Exactly. Because we Muslim, we say things to foam people. Like simply, if you want to fit me, you cannot find me because I'm between the foam. So you can't see me. What? Oh, Zakir, listen. It says forgiven even if they are like foam. Did your prophet say that? My prophet did not say foam. He is saying like foam of shampoo. That time there was a shampoo. Exactly. And actually, the prophet, he used to use different shampoo. Like what? He used to go to a place that's called Bidri Bi'a. What, what the heck? It's called Bi'ru Bi'da. Your Arabic is really horrible, Zakir. Christian Prince, I speak Arabic better than you. And I speak even Arabic better than take Uthman and the Katab. Oh, okay. So tell me about Bi'ar Bida. Your prophet used to take a shampoo shower there. Is that the place where dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage is thrown in and the Hadith says stinking things? Prince and Prince, first of all, those things are stinking, but they are brand. What the heck? What do you mean? As an example, the prophet. He used garbage with the very brand. So he don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll explain to you. First of all, there's other examples. There's dead dogs, but there's bad dogs and good dogs. So those dead dogs are brand. Like example, German Shepherd. Uh, you mean German Shepherd. Exactly. Or there is a, a dog, very expensive. His name is Doberman. Uh, Doberman, you mean. 
Don't interpret. Doberman, not Doberman. You are stupid. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. So your prophet, he don't swim. He don't take a shower with bad dogs. He take it only with the brand dogs. Exactly. Because he's honorable. It says here stinking stuff. You know, those dogs are stinky anyway. Listen, Prince. They are stinking because the prophet, he smells so good. So next to him, compared to him, they look stinky. Uh, I never heard this before. Exactly. Uh, Zakir. It says here, ministration clothing from the blood of the women. What do you think about that? First and Prince, first of all, at that time, women ministration was very clean. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because at that time, it was very clean. There is no plastic. There is no horrible pollution. And there is no bad things. Yeah. But isn't the blood, is the blood anyway? First and Prince, didn't you say that garbage in and garbage out? Yeah, I say I garbage in, garbage out. Speaking about Muhammad, Christian friends, respect yourself. What the heck is that? This is the guy they speak to you and they say he is the best of mankind. He jump in the water, have dead dogs, wearing a blood different period, and is stinking garbage. And look, the Muslim translation is the one using stinking things, which means it's not just a garbage; it's already stinky. Because you might have a garbage you throw right now. It's not stinky yet. Take time. This is already stinky. And this is the man we want to follow. I want to see Muslims, all those who claim to be famous in YouTube, taking the same, filling in the steps of Muhammad. And this is a very small jacuzzi size. And this is not a running water. Like this guy, Abdullah, he made a video to answer me. He, he, he grabbed five, six Muslims to refute me. And he says, you know, exposing the lies of a Christian prince that the prophet was a clean and even he used to clean himself from lies. I mean, do you see how clean he is? The Muslims are getting me busted. They said the prophet was so clean and he even he cleaned himself from lies. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I hope you enjoy your time and you learn something new. As always, uh, don't forget to make a comment, please. And the more comment you make, the more you help the video to be seen. For me, I don't really care much, uh, except uh, to spread the message. I'm the last one who need uh, to learn about Islam. Your children are the target. They go to schools, they meet with Muslims, and you did not teach them. They didn't learn nothing from you because you're an idiot. And then one day they come to you and they say to you, I became a Muslim. That will happen to you. If you think it will not happen, go check. There's many. They've been fooled, especially when they are children. So you better learn, educate yourself, and don't waste your time. Educate your children. So when they go to school, they will not be misled. Muslims are very well trained to attack Christianity. Your son, your daughter, they are so naive. Because if the parents are naive, what do you expect? The school don't teach them. The priests don't teach them. The parents themselves know nothing anyway. So what do you expect? I'm doing what you are not doing. I'm doing your job. I'm doing the job of a stupid priest who make church as a business. He will never even dare to insult Islam. I'm doing the job of a stupid parents who don't dare to share the truth with their kids. And maybe they don't have time because they are watching movies and smoking hookah. I'm doing the jobs of those who they are not doing their jobs. If all of you are doing your job, I will not be here. Thank you very much. And don't feel insulted. I'm not, I don't mean everybody, but those who they don't do their job, they knew themselves. Thank you. God bless you. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you for today humbly. And may the Lord bless you all. And may the Lord open the eyes of the Muslims. And the Lord himself, he says, search the books, read, read the books, search the books, find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And there's no truth beside Jesus.
for him and by him everything was created he is holy in the quran he is holy in the bible and right now he is holy in heaven even islam cannot deny that we are the one who follow the living messiah and they are the ones who follow the dead muhammad let the dead bury the dead jesus said so if you are dead follow muhammad if you want to be the living with the living follow jesus for the dead will follow the dead and the wage of sin is death thank you god bless you I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 